<laughs> this is what we deal with every time we go out. Buddy, it's okay, buddy. He hates the car seat. Buddy, it's okay. Look, people are honking at me. Okay, so we're going to, I gotta go pick up some medi medicine. We're going to Target and um, post office. And this little boy hates the car seat. I mean, hates the car seat. No matter what I do, it almost never stops in the car. But eventually stops. Once I hit about 50 miles an hour, he's out. Anyway, uh, that's what we're doing today. Let's go. Do you see this? Do you see this? It's okay, we're making progress. This is the only way. He's literally right now clenching my pinky right now and I'm tapping the pacifier. <laughs> Wish y'all could see this. Tapping the pacifier with my index finger and it's, he's calming. He's got the biggest clench on my finger right now. It's unreal. Anyway, at least it's quiet. Well, here, we're coming to a stop. I'm gonna stop. You good, buddy? You doing good? Oh, buddy, it's okay. He really hates it. I mean, like, at a, at a certain point, you have to let him cry until they pass out because it's like, what can you do? You can't just stop your day. You gotta go. And, you know, it's really hard because he goes at it like he's like <laughs> and you know i don't know what to do um so if you guys have tips please comment below i want to know what i can do about this because i've literally before had my hand back here for 20 minutes and it's like my arm goes numb i can only do i can only do this so long but it's so hard to hear him cry but once i hit like i said once i hit about 50 miles an hour He's pretty solid and he'll fall asleep. But this is Los Angeles. So even if I'm on the freeway, you know, there's always a lot of traffic and you never know, like it could be stop and go. But you know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, uh, yeah, so I need some tips. I need some tips. <sighs> I finally went to sleep. Um, I don't know if it was because the traffic opened up and we hit a good 60, 70 miles an hour, or if it's because I played some rain thunderstorm music and that just totally did it. Not really sure what it was, but all I know is he's out. Now, here's the thing. He's either going to wake up when I get him out of here or not. Usually when I move him, is when he wakes up, when I get him out of this stroller, this car seat. Look at this man. Hey bud. Yeah. He's already starting. I know, honey. I know. All right, okay. Give me a second. <laughs> just freaked out. He's just so, so hates it. I know. So we're gonna calm him down a little bit. He's falling asleep again. Got my mask. And oh, he's falling asleep. But here's the hard part. He's gonna fall asleep on me. And then I'm gonna have to put him back in the car seat. And I don't know how that's going to go, if it's going to do anything like the last time. Uh, well, we're going to have a miserable <laughs> another car ride. Oh my gosh. You are one lucky, lucky baby. <laughs> I'd say spoiled baby. 
I'm gonna feed him when we get inside. Okay, so we went inside. I was going to give him a bottle. Oh, good job, buddy. Now he's grabbing my finger again. I was gonna give him a bottle, but um, I forgot to pack a bottle. Good thing we're going to Target because I'm gonna buy a bottle. Like that's the biggest amateur move ever. It's okay, bud. He just hates it. There's, there's literally nothing I can do other than try and console him as much as possible. Uh, I'm gonna be done this and I'm gonna go, we're going to Target so I can get a bottle. Yeah, feed this boy. He also needs hats. It's okay, bud. I see you. Okay, a bit of an update. It definitely wasn't the rain music. It was the speed of the car because I put the rain music on and well, It's okay, bud. I don't understand. It's like he gets in the car seat and he just freaks out. This boy is so good, so calm when you're holding him. But my God, in the car seat, he just freaks out. And the only way he stops is when I put my hand back here and he's literally grabbing my hand so tightly. And if he doesn't get a good grip, it's it's like he doesn't stop. and. You can, you can still hear him. You can still hear him a little bit. I don't know what it is. I just need to get on the freeway. Right now we're going uh, up Coenga in Hollywood. Hollywood, I'm sorry. I don't know why anyone wants to live in Hollywood. It's just, woo, it's a mess. It is a mess, but whatever. I'm more of a, like a suburbia or like, not even suburbia, like I love living in LA, but I live in Sherman Oaks, which is way more, um, it's more suburban, but it's, but it's still like, it's young, it's got, it's walkable, it's got good food, it's got, you know, little shops along the boulevard, young families, and it's just close enough to, you know, Hollywood, West Hollywood, all those areas if you want to go that way. Um, oh gosh. My arm is only going to be able to stay back here so long, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, look, I'm kind of used to it. Like it's not, I don't get, I don't get freaked out. Like he's going to cry. He's going to cry. He's going to freak out. All I can do is console him as much as I can. But he's got to be in the car seat. There's no, there's no question about it. So. Anyway, I'm a little tired. I'm gonna get to Target. I'm gonna open this bottle before I even pay for it. And I'm gonna feed this boy. Hopefully that'll calm him down. And then I'm buying some hats. Yeah, that's the plan. Look at that. Look at that. We're hitting, we're hitting at 30 miles an hour. We're revving up, we're revving up. Here we go. You see, he just, it's just like, it's, it's. See, I'm at 50, about to get on the freeway. It's like, I can't go that fast on the main streets, homeboy. And then look, we're about to hit a light. I guarantee you it's gonna start again. Slowing down, guarantee you. What did I tell you? Uh, it's three cars. Three cars entering the freeway. We got these lights to get on the on-ramps. This guy stopped. It says three cars per green. He stopped when two cars went through. He was the third car. Ugh. Okay. All right, buddy. We're picking up speed. Okay, now we're picking up speed. He's my little speedometer in the back. But there's too much traffic. Anyway, I'll see you guys at Target. 
Oh, this boy just threw himself into one of the biggest temper tantrums I've ever experienced. He doesn't want to be sitting. He doesn't want to be sitting. So I decided that it's best to come home, not go to Target, and feed this boy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Literally, he just... Oh my God. He literally just had one of the, probably the biggest tan temper tantrum, temper tantrums I've ever experienced in a baby over that damn car seat. Like, broke out into a sweat. Oh, I think that was probably 40 minutes of screaming in the car with a little bit of a reprieve when we went to get the prescription. And um, I picked him, I held him out of the car seat. He just hates the car seat. So I'm going to feed him this bottle and then I'm going to, I still have to go to the post office because I upgraded iPhones and I need to return my old iPhone. So I'm gonna, uh, instead of driving to the post office, I'm gonna put him in this thing right here, which he absolutely loves, and we'll walk to the post office. It's only like, I don't know, five to seven minute walk up the street. So it'll be good. He's gonna pass out. He's gonna sleep so long. There's no way that this dude could do all the crying and screaming that he just did and not pass out, right? I'll be surprised if you make it through this bottle. Yeah, I will. I can already see it in your eyes. I can already see it. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. <sighs> that was intense. Guys, if you have advice, I need the advice on the car seat situation. Like, literally, like, how do I get this boy to not cry his eyes out in the car seat. Fill me in. Okay, can I have my finger? Think I could have it? Do you think I could have it? Thank you. So, we are finally, I hate loud cars so much. We are finally on our way to return this iPhone that I upgraded from post office. This guy is, like I said, passed out. Uh, I was gonna go to Target, but it's just too much. He, like, for, it was about 40 minutes in the car freaking out. And I don't wanna, I didn't wanna do that to him, so, anymore. So I figured I'll go home, feed him, and then I could walk down to the post office. It's easier on him, it's easier on me. But I'm not gonna lie, I seriously need to figure out what I can do. The only thing that has worked so far has been feeding him before we get in the car seat. That's worked. Um, sometimes I forget to do that because you know maybe I fed him like an hour before we're leaving and it's like too soon to feed him but maybe if I did like maybe one one and a half ounces before getting the getting in the car it would um that would help I don't know what else to do but um I'm happy he's happy now that's all I care about <laughs> So this is the Kalugo carrier. It's really cool. It's really like breathable. It's comfortable. Ugh, he goes, he's in this thing a lot. Like he is often on me and um, he really loves it. All right, that's it for today. I'm tired. <laughs> tired. All right guys. Peace out.
Don't you love Sherman Oaks? Sherman Oaks, California. California. Wait, we don't want to get like um, copyright issues or something like that. Peace out. Oh my God, I had to come back on here. Do you hear this? That's the sound of silence. The sound of silence. I gotta say thank you to my cousin, Erica. Well, she's really my cousin's wife. So cousin, Erica, she bought me this. This goes on the, um, the car seat handle. This boy is silent. I think he was just bored. I think he was bored in the car seat. We finally seem to have some progress here. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It's silent. <sighs> it's the next day. It's the whole, it's a whole next day. I, I didn't even plan on adding this to the video, but it's working. I mean, like the pacifier isn't even in his mouth and he's silent and he's actually looks like he's a little smiling a little bit. Oh my God, thank you, Erica. I do kind of like go back here and jiggle it just so he has a little sound and stimulated, but, um, and I can hear him going a little bit. So we're gonna put the pat, we're gonna have a stop sign. Where the pat, where's the pacifier? I know, get the pacifier, there it is. See, this is progress, progress. That's the end of the video. Peace out, baby. <laughs>